What's up, Burger Bros? It's time for YU Football. The final bye week of the season is behind us, and now it's time for the stretch run of 2024. Texas El Paso is one of the best teams in the Pac-12. They're 6-4, and 4-2 four, four and two in the conference. And little old us, uh, Yard U, uh, we're 3-5. and five. Uh, It'd be really nice to get the four wins. That was literally the coach goal uh, when we started the dynasty. And plus, uh, once we get to, if we were to lose and go to six losses, we would have to win out to remain like bull eligible. So hopefully we can get the win um, and start November off on the right foot. So uh, let's hop right in. I probably had somebody open up field. I really need to get better. I know I've said this literally like every game. I need to be better about like not like bailing after my first read goes away as he literally does it again. I literally do it like right after I say like I need to be better about this. Hey, but it worked. It's been working out here lately where I've been like, okay, first read isn't there. Let's tuck it and run. It's been working here recently. So now I can at least say like, hey, it's been it's it's working, so it's fine, right? When you, when you've thrown, when your quarterback's literally thrown like what four touchdowns to like a, a heck ton of interceptions, like you know, you start to feel validated, uh, tucking or running all the time. Oh, but then you can then you can do do then you can do beautiful things like that. <laughs> Dude, I have been recording. Like you could probably tell in the intro, it took me like so long to record the intro. Like I am tired. I've been recording for like six hours. I need to This is like the end of a recording day. This UTEP game, so probably picked the wrong time to play like a, a big final road game of the season. Ooh, don't! I was like, please don't jump the route. I kind of want to go for it. We're just gonna kick the field goal. I, I'm really proud about how well I've kicked field goals. I won't lie to you. I've, I've I've felt really really proud of myself for kicking good field goals in this uh, um, you know, so far in this series. How is the team that is literally second in the Pac-12 getting like a half empty stadium right now? Do better, UTEP fans. It's a beautiful stadium. Right now, I mean, look, if you can take the lead in the Pac-12, I don't know if they've played Cal. Like, I don't know if, how good of a position they are to take the lead in the Pac-12, but if they are one of the division leaders, I mean, they could potentially... Oh, oh. They could potentially... Be in, a, be in a spot to move up. Like, come on. Like, why are we not? You could be promoted to the ACC. It's going to be Rutgers or Maryland. It's going to be Colorado. But other than that, like, the third team to be promoted from the regional level is up for grabs. Okay, we're playing we'll hold that tiger, but is that hold? Oh, okay, well, I don't know if I want to finish that sentence. What? 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 Okay. 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 Good. I was like, I don't really. Hopefully, it doesn't get away here. Oh, ball's free. Let's go. He recovers it. That was a big time fumble recovery. Freeman. Right place, right time. That was good. A few moments later. Oh, and then you freaking fumble. Like, God, dude, hold on to the ball for once, man. Hold on to the ball. Later. Get this. Oh, okay. Man, no one can hold on to the ball. All right. All right. Come on, Jerrion. I mean, that's not Jerrion, but still. Come on, run. Get it. Get there. Get there. Get there. All the way down to the three. I thought we were going to have a big man touchdown. Dude, this has been a sloppy half of football. All right, hit the field goal. Let's get it done. 
Oh, oh no. Oh no. And we missed the chip shot field goal. Dude, this has been a terrible half of football. And the worst half of football comes to an end. We've had some big plays just at the end of the half. Just so many fumbles. So many fumbles. They've been able to drive the ball, though, really well. Which is a little worrisome until now. Until now. Let's get a stop. Let's go. We've gotten some stops. Oh, now we're, that was a bad time to switch it up. Or a great time to switch it up. Okay. Okay. All right. You know what? Th a three and out on the first possession of the second half. I will take it. Please do not rough. Please do not rough on this punt. Please do not rough. Please do. Okay, good. That's all, that's all that I ask. No more roughing the punter. Okay. Let's go back to RTDB. That's what we need to get back to. Get back to what got us here. Although, this, they're stacking the box, and I don't like that. I thought he was going to make that catch. That was almost really awesome. It's third and four, and let's get a first down. That would be really cool, and it would be really cool. We hit our guy in stride, and he got the first down. Good catch, good catch. Break it outside, make the juke move inside. Let's go. First down. Peaks. 100 completed passes for apparently the Headless Horseman. It's been a good drive. It's taken up most of the third quarter. Good run. Oh, did he catch it? Let's go. Good catch, Peaks. Alright. Power football. Oh, I don't even... This is Teague. Oh, is this his first carry of the season? What a time. What a time for your first carry of the year. And it's a touchdown. Cameron Teague, sophomore. And it's a racer's touchdown. Fourth quarter. In this defensive struggle, 10-0. Oh, come on. Come on, D. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me. Well. That's not what we needed. I mean, well executed. We didn't have anybody over there. They had good blocking on that play. All right. We need to lock in. We need a touchdown on this drive. That's what we need. Hold on to it. Let's go. Stand in the pocket. Get a first down. Way to go, Peaks. Honestly, as long as we can keep, you know, <clears throat> making positive plays. Keep that clock rolling. I mean, we don't want to slow things up here. We don't want to just, like, bring the reins in, but... Two-minute warning. It's third and four. Like, let's not put ourselves in a position to lose this game because we're trying too hard to... Make the catch! Let's go! Peaks. Peaks is a legend. Because now we can just run away from people. Let's go! Spencer Strickland with the touchdown run. What a run, too. Now they have one timeout. We need them to use that 
as quickly as they can, and then hopefully we can get them to run off on a clock. Oh, there we go. That's game. Our defense called game. Pace, what a name for a guy that plays for the Racers. Defensive struggle. It ends with an interception. Terrell Pace. All right. Eight seconds. Do your worst, UTEP. All right. <laughs> that was apparently their worst. All right, now they got three seconds. Oh, yeah, I forgot. No, no, no. Give me... I was like, give me... Give me the normal view back. All right, well, they made a catch downfield. That was a good play. But... The Yard U Racers are back in the W column. A hard-fought win. A defensive struggle. A sloppy game but nonetheless spencer strickland your player of the game 61 rushing yards a touchdown the game ceiling touchdown yard you is in a position to get back to 500 next week because we, i think we play sam houston so we actually have a chance thank you guys all for coming um it was a it was a great game today um it was a sloppy game uh but it was a great game overall good to get back in the w column um you know um, proud of uh, each and every one of our boys today. Uh, they played a heck of a ball game. Uh, Spencer had a good day running the football. 13 carries, 61 yards, and a touchdown. Um, uh, great to see Cameron uh, get in the end zone as well. Uh, hats off to him. Glad to get him um, some reps in the game as well. Uh, glad to see him get his first uh, rushing touchdown um, of his career. Uh, so since, since we were 1-4, we've now gone 3-1. and one. Um, and the one loss was double overtime to Arkansas. So um, we've been playing phenomenal football, um, and I couldn't be happier with the effort um, that we've been seeing from this team. Um, and we're going into this final these we're going into these final three games of the season. They're all at home, uh, which is really nice to see, and they're all very winnable football games. Um, so to have an opportunity to potentially, you know, be bowl eligible to potentially finish the season. Um, above 500 um, that's a really fantastic opportunity um, so we're really excited about these final three weeks of the season really excited to see what the uh, future holds just three games remain on the yard U schedule and thankfully all three of them are at the racetrack the first team to come knocking is the Sam Houston Bearcats also in search of their fifth win on the season will they be successful or will we finally finally be back to 500 Find out in the next video. Thank you for watching another Yard University football video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a like, subscribe to become one of the Burger Bros, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.